In questions involving one item unchanged, you will notice two sets of ratio given. Since only one item has been changed, the other units for the other item should remain constant. So the most important skill is to change ratio to an equivalent ratio based on the unchanged item. Let's look at the example given. The ratio number of apples to the number of pear was 3 is to 2. That's for before. But now something happened. 14 apples were eaten. So I'm going to subtract 14 here. Then now, the ratio of the number of apples to the number of pear became 1 is to 3. So based on the scale that we have learned here, we are supposed to change to equivalent ratio based on unchanged item. What's the item that's unchanged? It's the number of pair. But let's take a look at the pair units. It's 2 over here and it's 3 over here. So our job is to change them into a constant number that's the same for these two. So we look at the multi common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6 and 6. So for the ratio on the left hand side, we need to multiply by 3. So 3 times 3 gives me 9. The new ratio will be 9 to 6. And for the ratio on the right hand side, we need to multiply by 2. So 1 times 2 gives me 2. Now let's observe. The units for apple before was 9. And the units for apple after is 2. So what has happened? 9 minus 2 gives me 7. There is a change of 7 units. And what does that change refer to? If you follow the questions, 14 apples were eaten. So this 7 units refers to 14 apples. And with that, we are on the way to solve any of the questions that they want because we can find one unit, 14 divided by 7, which gives me 2. This is the key to find the number of apples, or I can find the number of pair, or I can even find the number of apples and pair before and after. So, with that, what type of questions will they be asking you? They can ask you the items of apple, the items of pear, or even in total. They can also ask you number of items before and after. So the most important question is the number that's given, 14 apples. You need to refer it and find out how many units it's referring to. And remember, the most important skill is to change it to the equivalent ratio based on unchanged item. In this case, for the question, the unchanged item is the pair. Let's take a look at the few questions and try them out. Mrs Tan had some beads. The ratio of the number of blue beads to the ratio of number of red beads was 2 is to 5. After using 25 red beads to sew on a bag, the ratio of number of blue beads to the number of red beads became 8 is to 15. What type of question is this? Observe, there is only one change that's acquired to the red beads, which means blue is constant. One item unchanged question. But we take a look at the blue beads. It's two units here and it's eight units here. It should be equivalent because nothing was done to it, right? So our first task is to change the blue beads into equivalent fractions, uh, ratio, sorry, which means I have to change blue beads to eight units. To do so, I need to multiply by four. So five times four gives me 20. Now let's look at the ratio we have here and zoom in to red beads. Before was 20 units, after was 15. So something must have happened, am I right? So 20 minus 15, I have 5 units. The 5 units of beads were lost, lost somewhere, which refers to the 25 beads that were used. So now with this crucial information, 20, um, 5 units is equal to 25, I can then solve the question. How many blue beads did she have? Blue beads, 8 units. So to find 8 units, I just have to take 25 divided by 5, which gives me 1 unit. And then I multiply by 8. So my answer, I have 5 here, 5 times 8, I have 40. 
and that's my final answer. J had a collection of local and foreign stamps. The ratio of the number of local stamps to the number of foreign stamps he had at first was 7 is to 3. So this is at first, I'm going to call it before. After giving away 46 foreign stamps. And nothing is done to the local stamp. And now they gave us the ratio in the end. It's 5 is to 2. So based on two ratios given, you know there is one item that's unchanged. That is local stamps. So let's look at the two numbers, 7 and 5. What is the common multiple? The common multiple is 35. Ask yourself, why am I changing it to 35 units? Are you able to answer that? Well, I'm changing to 35 units because nothing is done to this two ratio and it should be of the same units, but it is not. So our job here is to ensure, remember the skill that we have learned before, is to change it to an equivalent ratio based on the unchanged item, which is the local stamps. So now back to the question, 7 times 5 gives me 35, so 3 times 5 gives me 15. Then for this, I need to multiply by 7, 2 times 7 gives me 14. Now I have two sets of ratio and two different sets of, what do I mean? Two sets here and then two sets here. So now since I have a new ratio, I no longer refer to the old ratio. This is to reduce confusion that you have. So the next important skill is to know which scale to ref uh, which ratio to refer to. Okay, so let us take a look. 15 units and 14 units, which means that one unit or change refers to 46 stamps. And the final question, how many foreign stamps did J have in the end? And I'm referring to 14 units. Okay, I do not refer to the old ratio anymore. So finding 14 units is no problem because I know the key, which is one unit. 46 times 14 gives me 644. And that's my final answer. The ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys in a camp. The ratio of number of girls to the number of boys in a camp is 2 is to 3. The ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys in a camp is 2 is to 3. 65 girls left the camp and the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys became 1 is to 4. Now let's analyze the ratio that we have drawn first. This is before and this is after. And notice what is the item that is unchanged? If you think it's the number of boys, yes, you are right. But let's take a look. It's 3 and it's 4 on the right-hand side. So what should we do? We should change it to a ratio that's equivalent based on the unchanged. So 3 and 4, the common multiple is 12 and 12. So the right-hand side ratio, we should multiply it by 4. 2 times 4 gives us 8. Then 4 on the right-hand side, we should multiply by 3. So we will have 3. Now let's analyze the ratio for girls. Before there were 8 units, after there were 5. So which means 8 minus 3 equals to 5. That 5 units refers to 65 girls that had left the camp. In this question, they want to know the total number of children at the camp at first. So always know which ratio to refer to. Since they want to know at first, we should look at the ratio on the left hand side and refer to the new ratio that we have came up with. So in this case, it's 8 to 12. In this case, we are finding 8 plus 12. We are finding 20 units. There are two ways to solve this question because I know 5 units is 65. 20 units would be 4 sets of 5 units. So I can take 65 
times 4, giving us 260. Okay? Another method will be finding one unit first. This will be simpler. So 65 divided by 5, I will have 13. Remember, I always say finding one unit is the key to the question. After you have found one unit, we are finding 20 units. So 13 times 20 will also give us 260. And that's our answer. Let's take a look at this question. That's two marks and you can use the calculator. The number of stamps Peter collected so the number of stamps that Siva collected is 4 is to 5. Now instead of you know the previous questions that we have where one item has been subtracted, in this case it is Peter bought another 270 stamps. So it's addition of 270. The ratio became 6 is to 3. Now you observe the ratio. Nothing happened to Siva but the ratio has increased. And for Peter, he has four. He had four units at first, but it became six units. So one item changed. That's Peter, but for Siva, it remained unchanged. So we're gonna deal with Siva's ratio, and we have five and three. The common multiple would be fifteen and fifteen here. So for the ratio on the right hand side, I will multiply by three. So four times three, I get twelve. For the ratio on the right hand side, I multiply it by 5. I get 6 times 5 is 30. So now let us observe the ratio for Peter. It's 12 before and then it became 30. Why it became 30? Because he bought another 270 stamps. So our first step is to take Peter's units and subtract to find the difference and I'll get 18 units. And I will relate this unit into the question, which tells us he bought another 270 stamps. Now remember the key to the question, always find out one unit. In this case, 270 divided by 18, I get 15. Now back to the questions, how many stamps does Siva have? And I look at both ratio, remember, always refer to the correct ratio, do not refer to 5, do not refer to 3. But in this case, refer to the new ratio that you have found. In this case is 15. Okay, so to find 15 units, I will take 15 times 15 and my answer will be 225. That's my answer. Sometimes, fractions question can be solved using ratio because you have learned how to express fraction as ratio and vice versa. Let's take a look at this question. In a basket, one third of the fruits were apples. So which means for apple, there's one unit. And the rest were oranges. Since there's one third of apples, there will be two third of oranges. That means two units for oranges. Now, eight oranges were removed and there were three-fifths as many apples and oranges. If I were to draw a model for this part of the phrase, apples and oranges would mean that three units and there's five units for oranges. It's very different from the fraction on top because on top it says one third of the fruits that means fruits, there are a total of three units. But at the bottom is three fifths as many apples and oranges. So you've got to be very familiar with drawing of the model. And then now we are just using ratio, the exact same thing. So apple, three units, oranges, five. This is a question of constant. There is one item that is constant. The ratio on the right hand side is three. The ratio on the left hand side is 1. But if you notice in the story itself, nothing was done to the apple. It should still be the same in the basket. Instead, oranges were the one that were removed. So, why the ratio on the left and right are different? And our job now is to change this ratio into the same ratio. It is easier for this to be multiplied to 3. So, I'm going to multiply by 3 on the left 
and on the right which will give me 3 is to 6 now we shall do some comparison this is the same and you notice for oranges before was 6 and after was 5 what is happening between because of the 8 oranges that were removed and what can we tell from that we will know that one unit is equal to 8 oranges and we already known this important fact solving the question is not difficult at all they want how many apples and oranges all together at first so we need to look at the ratio on the left hand side 3 plus 6 I have 9 units so 1 unit is 8 9 units 9 times 8 my answer will be 72 there are 72 apples and oranges all together at first